Hello, let's solve this much Olympiad problem for the value of y. We are given the square root of y plus the square root of y minus 9 equal to 9. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share it with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be able to be notified when I upload more of my content. Now let's get started. To solve this question, we can see that the two expressions in the left-hand side, that is this and this, contains square root, but there is no square root here. So the main work we are going to do here is to clear the square root. And to clear the square root, we are simply going to square both sides. So since the left-hand sides have both square root, we're going to take them to become square root of y plus square root of y minus 9 all squared this will be equal to 9 square in the next step we'll find out that we can simply simplify this in order to get uh, a, a solution we can have this to become the square root of y plus the square root of y minus 9 all squared and this will be equal to 81. Now I want you to recall one law of indices or one algebraic formula that if we have expressions like this a plus b all squared that this can be simplified using algebraic expression and this will give us a square the first square plus two times the first and the second and that will be plus the b what the last square the second square now from this expression you can come to see that our a is equal to the square root of y and our b is equal to the square root of y minus 9. So if we insert that into the expression, the second step will now become square root of y square plus 2 multiplied by the square root of y multiplied by the square root of y minus 9 and then plus the square root of y minus 9 or what all squared so simplifying that expression you come to see that this we simply clear this right while this we simply clear the square root and then we'll have a y plus 2 multiplied by this will be assigned a general square root which is uh, y multiplied by y minus 9 and this would be plus y minus 9. So this expression will now give us 2y 2y plus 2 multiplied by the square root of this will become y square minus 9y. Remember, this is equal to 81. We have not forgotten the 81 we had earlier on. So that is equal to 81. And this will be what? This will be minus 9. And this will be equal to 81. So we'll have our 2y plus 2 multiply by the square root of y square minus 9y equal to 81 plus 81 plus 9 if we take uh if we add uh, 9 to both sides the 9 on the left hand side will be eliminated so we we'll have 2y plus this is going to give us uh, 2 multiplied by y square minus 9y and this will be equal to 
90. So in the next step, we're going to find out that we'll have uh, a common 2, which is an expression there. So we're going to bring out 2, which is common. 2 divided by this will give us y plus what will be left here is the square of y square, the square root of y square minus 9y, and this will be equal to 90. So with this, we can simply reduce further by dividing here by 2 and dividing here by 2. If we divide that expression by 2, 2 will go for 2, and then we'll be left with y plus the square root of y square minus 9y, and this will be equal to 45. Because 2 here 1 and 90 divided by 2 will give us 45. So in the next step, we are going to simplify for that. So since we have this expression, the next thing we are going to do is to simplify. And remember, y is just on its own. So we are going to bring out y, which is strictly on its own, y squared minus 9y. If we take it to the right hand side, we'll have 45 minus y. So to clear the square root, we just have to square both sides. So if we square both sides in that expression, we'll have this to become the square root of y squared minus 9y all squared equal to 45 minus y all squared. So from here, square will clear square root and then we'll be left with y square minus 9y and this will be equal to, uh, if we expand this using that same algebraic formula, remember that is now going to give us a square which is 45 square minus 2 times the first one, 45, multiplied by the second one, y, and that expression is going to continue with uh, plus the last one square, which is y what? y square. So from this expression, you can simply see that we can simplify further. So if we simplify further, by subtracting y from both sides. If I subtract y squared from both sides, what do I have? This will uh, give me the value of negative 9y to be equal to 45 square right minus 90y. So this expression is now going to give me negative 9y plus 90y. If we subtract, add 90 to both sides, this will be equal to 45 multiplied by 45. So minus 9y plus 9y is going to simply give us 81, right? So that will give us 81y equal to 45 multiply by 45. So what do we have? Divide this end by 81 and divide this end by 81 and then we'll have that expression to now give us our y will now be equal to um, if 9 goes here it will give us what? It will give us 9, right? If another 9 goes here it's going to give us 5. Now, if 9 goes here, it gives us 1. Another 9 goes here, it gives us 5. So that will give us what? 20 what? 5. So the value of y is equal to 25. And that is the solution to uh, the mass question given to us up there. Now I have to check to see if our solution is absolutely right. What's the question? Square root of y plus the square root of y minus 9, is it equal to 9? And to check, we must definitely get the same value for the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So we are given the value of the square root of y 
plus the square root of y minus 9. Will it be equal to 9? Let's find out. Square root of 5, 9 will give us square root of 25 plus the square root of 25 minus 9. Will it be equal to 9? Square root of 25 is going to give us 5 plus this is going to give us the square root of 25 minus 9 is going to give us 16. So this will give us 5 plus the square root of 16 is 4. Now would this be equal to 9? Will this be equal to 9? Of course, this is equal to 5 plus 5, 4 is equal to 9 and 9 is equal to 9. So that tells us that the value of y equal to 25 is a solution that, uh, that satisfies that expression that is given to us up here. Cool. I know you did enjoy watching this math solution. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and colleagues. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more simplified mathematics of Olympia question. Thanks so much for watching and bye-bye for now.